Hi, it's Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching TMC Net Editor's Day in Santa Clara, California, 2015. On our program is Rob Chando. He is with Helium. Rob, welcome to the show. How are you? Thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure. Pleasure. Let's start at the top. I know you guys are in the IoT space, but specifically, uh, what's your value proposition there? So what Helium is about is actually making it easy to connect things to the Internet. In particular, we're interested in connecting sensing and control to the Internet. It's really a large class of problems that a lot of uh, enterprise and in industrial uh, customers face. It's how do, I, how do I sense the world around me, things on my factory floor, things in my building, and be able to create business action and business insight from that. So is it a middleware layer that sits on top, or, or exactly how does it work? Uh, that's actually one of the things that's different about Helium. It's not just a middleware platform like a lot of other companies. It's actually a full stack. So we go all the way. We actually make sensor hardware that actually can be plugged into different kinds of physical sensors like humidity or temperature or radiation or air, air quality. Um, and then we actually have a networking technology, our own cloud and storage infrastructure that really thinks about how that time series data that comes from a sen uh, sensor can be turned into business insight. And then we also focus a little bit on user interface to make sure that the applications don't look industrial. Oh, okay, great. So it's, it's really an ecosystem, an IoT ecosystem, really from, like you said, the full stack, from bottom to the top, everything. Yeah, it is, it is a full stack. And, you know, as a startup, it's a little bit hard to get, get a lot of people to come and be on our platform. So in addition to that, last week announced um, a vertical solution that we're putting out there to show the power of the platform. So we're actually doing a solution in temperature monitoring for hospitals. Oh, okay, fantastic. So um, if, we were to, if we were to look at how this would work in the real world uh, in, and I was to deploy, so in a hospital, I would... I would put my sensors out there. I would use uh, your network, and mm -hmm. your network is, uh, is it a proprietary wireless standard? It's, or? It, it's actually based on standard 802.15.4, and then we've made some optimizations so that we can get longer battery life and, and better range out of it. But we could use any physical layer, but we have our own helium network. So you would, you would put a couple access points, since we cover a few floors with every, with every access point. We get really good coverage off our radios. And then the, the sensors themselves are battery powered and wirelessly connected. So you just basically pull the tab, stick them on the back of the refrigerator, and you're off and running. So because there's some proprietary technology, does it make it more secure from the standpoint of hackers trying to get into the wireless network? Yeah, we focused on security from the beginning. You know, we're, we're sort of old school cloud software people, so we think about everything. What would I want to do to be able to make it uh, so that an IoT application developer can run as fast as somebody in the cloud? We have all these tools in the cloud. Some of them, including our, our security primitives, you know, we have a lot of authentication and encryption. So what we did at Helium is we included that functionality in, in the sensors themselves. So there's that network and that sensor technology, when you pull that battery tab, it can identify itself to the network and actually do an authentication exchange so that not only is the data encrypted, but we know that we're talking to a sensor that we trust. Fantastic. So uh, going forward, what can we expect from the company? I think what you're going to see from the companies, we'll probably do a couple more verticals. We'll probably take what we did with hospitals where we're monitoring high-value things in refrigerators and take that into some other places like pharmaceuticals or food services. You know, if you've got $200,000 worth of vaccine or $200,000 for the Wagyu beef, you actually want to protect them both. And we're going to go to market with different partners there. But what you'll also see is us opening up the ecosystem. For example, because we can think about the data in a very sort of strict way, we know what kind of data is coming in and out. We're not trying to do general purpose. We can plug into some of the new and upcoming machine learning companies that are out there that are doing machine learning at a, as a service. So you might be able to take that same sensor that you used in the beginning to do very simple monitoring a refrigerator and put the power of machine learning behind it. So you'll see a lot more partnerships coming from us in the future as well. Great. Is there anything we uh, left out that, that someone who may be interested in purchasing something from you should know? Um, I, I think what they should think about it is how do I get the solution actually delivered? And one of the things that Helium is trying to provide is actually that full platform. So you have something that you really want to do. You want to make sense of your things, come to Helium and we'll help you get hooked up. Fantastic. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.